Hey guys, um, I know I've not made a video in a while, uh, but that's because I'm lazy basically. I'm not going to make an excuse about it because I've just not really felt like it really. Um, I actually have no idea what I said in my last pregnancy vlog, which if you were the Tyler, obviously know what this is. Um, so yeah, this is my pregnancy vlog. Um, I think the last one I did was the symptoms I was feeling, but at that point I was in my first trimester. So I wasn't feeling specifically great. Um, <laughs> but I think if memory serves me right, that is the last thing, that is the last pregnancy vlog I did. Um, and now I'm coming at you with a 24 week pregnancy vlog, um, which seems a lot. <laughs> it actually is, but. Um, it's hard thinking that, well it's not hard, but it's weird thinking that before I was like only a few, well not a few, I was like 12 weeks or something pregnant, um, well when I found out I was, and now I'm 24 weeks and that's coming up to the 6 month mark. Um, so I am still technically in my second trimester, which I think at the end of this week, I'm not, I'm not sure, but anyway, um, so a few weeks ago I obviously had my 20 week scan, uh, and from what they figured um, they think it might be a girl. They say might because for one, they never give a hundred percent guarantee because you know it could just come out a boy. You could have a really tiny, tiny winky for you know. I'm joking, but um, they said that they can't see any predominant male things bits, <laughs> so they do assume it's a girl, I guess. But at my third, I think it's thirty-eight weeks, which is my, which should be my next one. I think. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, I will be asking again. Still kind of hoping it's a girl because of all the pink now, um, <laughs> but you know. Uh, so I'm gonna get on. Um, the only symptoms um, I'm feeling now is more being lethargic, not having any energy, um, not mm, not really sleeping very well because I just can't get comfy really. Um, uh, my lower back hurts a lot, and especially in the past few days because obviously me and my mom have been wallpapering my bedroom. Um, as you, like I say, as you can probably see from behind. Um, so, that's a bit of a ball ache, <laughs> but it has to be done or whatever. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's really just being tired and stuff. And also, I have had tender boobs. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry if you're like really close to me and you're watching this video, you're probably never going to think of me the same because I'm about to talk to you about my boobs now. <laughs> this is awkward. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, a few, uh, about a month-ish ago, my boobs started leaking colostrum, which is, sorry, this is really awkward, which is, uh, like, from what I, well, from what I've read on Google, and from other pregnant people, it's, like, the stuff that's got, like, vitamins and nutrients and stuff, I think, that your baby needs at first. It's, like, clear, and it doesn't really smell or anything, it's not sticky, it's a bit weird. I don't know. <laughs> but... That's perfectly normal apparently, so that that's fine. But then that yeah, I've had tender boobs, um but I've not really felt proper proper leaking like through my bra or anything. It leak a little tiny bit when I'm asleep, but that's it. And anyway, enough about my boobs. Um, <laughs> uh I don't I don't think I mentioned it before because I'm I'm not sure in the time scale of when I realised this or whatever, um whether I'd already done my video which I think I had. Uh I did start having cravings for about two months and it was milk, uh, which is strange for me because I don't really like milk, like I'll obviously have it in my cereals and in my tea and everything, um, but I like don't have it, like I wouldn't normally drink it if you know what I mean, like just in a glass, I used to when I was younger but then I like went off it and I just, I, it's the aftertaste I think that creeps me out more than anything, but yeah I did drink a lot of milk, I was going to like a whole four pint bottle thing um, every day maybe so we did have a lot of milk going in and out of our house <laughs> um, so just plain milk though I did like I have still like milkshakes and stuff like that but um, it was weird that I was like craving plain milk and I was just drinking it constantly um, which also caused me to feel I don't know what the word is dehydrated I think it is because obviously I wasn't getting more because I was just drinking milk um, and I was eating a little bit less because I was obviously full of milk um, but now that's over I can't really stand it drinking on its own again which is lovely <laughs> but 
I'm going to this thing now where if I see something, say on Facebook, Tumblr, whatever, a picture of food, <laughs> mostly, um, and it looks really nice to me, I will want that food and I will have to have that food or else I will cry. Like I had this thing uh, with Rice Krispies, uh, Rice Krispies buns and stuff uh, a few weeks ago and I, I don't know why, it literally just, I think I smelled chocolate and that just came into my head or something, I'm not sure, but um, so I kind of had to have them and then I was like, I ended up going to the shop and buying the stuff to make them because I, I was literally sat there going, I need some Rice Krispies. Um, but yeah, other than that, but it's like scents, um, yeah, I'm really sensitive to smells now. Um, my brothers were cooking some ribs or something, just some microwavable things, and they smelt like, uh, you know, tinned hot dogs when you cook them, and they smelt disgusting to me. I don't really like that smell anyway, but it literally made me want to throw up. Um, but I've not been feeling sick or anything, but it was just horrendous to me. Um, okay, that's that, I think. <laughs> um, the last bit I'm going to mention is, as you can see, we are... Well, I'm slowly but surely trying to get ready for this child. Um, like I said, I am nearly six months, so obviously only three more to go. Um, and by getting ready, I mean obviously starting to decorate. Um, we've just got our first like baby thing, um, which is a changing unit slash bath thing, which is actually really cool, but I just spent two hours building it. And I left it downstairs, so I'm not sure how I'm going to get it up here, but whatever. <laughs> um, so that's like our first big baby thing uh, and I have got a few baby clothes um, and I know my best friend Emma she's bought like a little converse set it's so cute and um, when I get that at my house I'll probably show everyone the baby clothes that I've got and what she's brought and what I get again because every like fortnight I'll be buying like a few bits and bobs because obviously I've still got three months so if I just keep buying little bits then it should be a lot easier when I do the big shop close to the time. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. I have sorted out who's going to be there during pregnancy, which is my mom and my best friend, Emma again. Uh, the, <laughs> the reason why, actually I'm not really going to get into it, but no, my fiancé or ex, whatever, <laughs> isn't going to be there um, for different reasons. Not because we've broken up or anything, we have, but not because of that, that's not why. Um, but he'll be in the waiting room and he'll like come in basically as soon as it's born and as soon as he can. Um, so yeah, uh, we should hopefully be having a girl. Uh, I don't know when my next scan is but I think it is 38 weeks. I could look now but I'm not going to. Um, I think that's it really. That's all I have to say. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting really tired again. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching anyway. I'll catch up with you as soon as I can or maybe next week or something. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Bye.